o'clock this is what we got CBVI is approaching heard it from my sister and brother-in-law live in Depew which is about 20 minutes train wise east west sorry a lot more of that work done on that shrub you guys can see from right here we can now see the switch for the hill and hopefully here soon, I'll be able to see, we will be able to see just about everything down there. Now if anyone has any tips, the only thing that I cannot, I'm having a major issue with is where to put all this wood. Because like I said, the majority of it's alive. And uh, I don't know if the city will take care of it since it's their property and I'm doing their job for them. Um, the good part about this is... Uh, the good news is the city tends to cut these um, weeds down when they get too high and they affect with that low-hanging wire there. So uh, I shouldn't have any issue uh, by doing all this. No one should be able to get mad at me because this is what the city will do eventually. And uh, I'm making their life ten times easier by clearing the whole thing out. Plus, further down, there's a buried fiber optic cable. And uh, I'm sure if anyone needed to get to that... I uh, guess I'll be the guy to clean it up. I will talk to the city at one point during the week to see if I can, how to properly dispose of all this shrubbery. And uh, who knows, maybe they'll even take it. And if they will, I'll make my life ten times easier. But uh, they probably won't just because when they cut all this down, they just leave it there. I've found multiple pieces that have been cut down from the city because um, they were too tall and affecting with the telephone pole. And it was just left there. Not trying to talk bad on the city's part, but they already haven't cleaned up after their mess once before, so who knows if they'll do it again. But I will have to eventually find a way in how to get rid of all this. I can't just leave it here. But uh hypothetically I could, but I don't know if that makes me the uh bad guy or not. But uh eventually it'll all die out. Be easier to turn into smaller pieces but uh we'll figure something out just want to give you guys a nice little quick look before the train shows up got a beautiful sunset fortunately the sun is rapidly um setting and i got a good feeling it'll be all done and over with before the train gets here but the good news is it shouldn't be that dark because of it just now setting and it just hit the pew so assuming they don't get stuck at spring valley we should have a fairly decent night and uh, my 4,000 lumen flashlight will look like it's doing absolutely nothing. So uh, let's wait for the train now.
expected it got dark pretty quick. Sun's still setting west. You can see that. Very beautiful. That is not to say warmer, longer nights are not ahead of us. They definitely are. <laughs> Excuse me. One day I'm sure we'll get them in the daytime again. I don't even know if yesterday was the CBBI. I got no idea. A little disclaimer. Got a video. Me and Durley went to Mendota today. The video will be up, but I'm making this one a priority since this is what I do on a nightly basis. This is what you guys expect on a daily basis. So I'm going to be uploading this video first, and once it's done being published, I'm going to start uploading the Mendota one, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. We got a bunch of horn salutes, a bunch of waves from Amtrak and BNSF, and there's even a special surprise, including a rare hopper and two rare equipment cars that go all the way back to the Burlington Northern days. So, stay tuned for that. And with all that being said, thank you all for coming in and stopping by just for the few minutes it takes for the old train to go through LaSalle, Illinois once again. With all that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I will see you guys in tomorrow night's video.